Hey, what's happening? Hey, it's me, uh, Wes, and welcome to Wes's Smokehouse Barbecue, where we do barbecue right. Well, at least we try to, anyway. But listen, today I'm doing something really special. Today I'm just getting out of the box. I'm just going kind of nuts a little bit. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do smoked turkey tenderloin. I'm going to pull it, and then we're going to make a pot pie. Yeah, we're going to make a pot pie. And we're going to do some tenderloins, some turkey tenderloins. So we're going to pull turkey, we're going to pull it, and we're going to put it in the pot pie. So it's smoked, pulled turkey, pot pie. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh man, this is going to be good. Well anyway, so I have some nice little pieces of tenderloin here. And I had them brining overnight. So they were sitting in a brine overnight. And I just took them out of the brine and rinsed them. And now I'm ready to prepare them to go into the smoker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smoke these at 250 degrees for uh, probably about two hours. It's not going to take very long to smoke these. They're going to be done. We want to get them up to a temperature about 190 so they can just pull apart real easy. We're going to pull them. We're going to add them to a mixture, which I'll show you in a little bit because we're going to go out to my flat top and I'm going to, I'm going to start. We're going to do a mixture of potatoes, uh, corn, celery, onions, carrots, and mushrooms. And we're gonna cook those on a flat top. We're gonna to get those going a little bit, and then we're gonna add them to the mixture and make this smoked pulled turkey pot pie. <laughs> anyway, here we go. So I'm gonna add some mustard to this because I want my seasoning to stick on on these. Like I said, they're they're not that thick. They're probably about a half a pound a piece. Um, and I'm gonna just make sure each one gets a nice healthy coat of mustard. It's not you don't really taste the mustard on you don't taste it at all not really but you don't really you don't even taste it at all on Here it's just a nice binder to hold your seasonings on so a nice liberal piece of a nice amount of mustard Okay, and then we're gonna I'm gonna add some ah. Some of John Henry's pecan rub. John Henry's pecan rub. And I'm also going to smoke these in uh, pecan wood. So we're going to have that nice pecan flavor inside the pot pie. Oh my goodness. This is going to be epic. I'm also going to add some uh, garlic, some McCormick's garlic, onion, and black pepper. Some garlic, onion, and pe black pepper. And last but surely not least, we're gonna add a little adobe all-purpose seasonings. And what I like to do is I like to try to sh uh, combine my seasons a little bit. So what I'll probably do is when I go out to the flat top, I'll add some of these seasonings to my vegetables so that everything comes together and it comes together in the right way. So I'm just gonna flip these over. My uh, Masterbuilt Gravity 560 is heating up as we speak. And I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side here, just add some. McCormick's garlic, onion, and uh, black pepper. This is really good stuff. I don't know if you've ever tried it before, but it's really, really good. I, I really stand by it, and I love it. I'll tell you, my go-to has been this John Henry's uh, pecan rub. It's just amazing, and uh, just adds such a great flavor. I don't know if you've ever used pecan wood chips before, but um, it adds such a nice flavor to your meat. I really love it on my beef, to be honest with you. And we're going to try it today on this turkey. And lastly, but again not leastly, the adobe all-purpose seasoning. And we're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're good. The tenderloin, turkey tenderloins are ready to go. And we're going to put them in the Masterbuilt 560, which is heated at a temperature of 250 and we're gonna let these go for about 45 minutes to an hour they should be done and uh, we'll see you at the smoker hey what's up so we're in my garage because it's a little wet outside it's raining a little bit it's starting to rain so hey we adapt and we overcome so I moved my master built 560 into the garage and we're gonna just smoke these anyway right here because hey if you're a true pit master smoke master whatever you want to call yourself you do it in the rain, you do it in the sun, you do it whenever. All right, so here we are. Uh, the, the Masterbuilt 
560 is up to 250 degrees. Okay, and we're just gonna put these in here. Um, I have a probe in one of them, which I'm gonna keep track of, but I'm gonna put that one a little bit further away from the heat, so I know that the other ones will be exactly what I need them to be. And there you have it. They're in. Using a Thermal Pro meat probe to keep track of the temperatures, internal temperature. And we wanted to get up to an internal temperature of about 190 in order for us to pull it. It would be done at 160. But we want to get up to 190 internal so we can just pull it. It comes apart real simple. And we'll just add it right into our mixture, uh, which I'm about to do in a minute. Uh, and then that's it. Put it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes to an hour or to golden brown. And we have ourselves a delicious smoked turkey tenderloin. Pulled, let me say that again. Pulled smoked turkey tenderloin Popeye. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys. We'll see you guys out in the backyard. I'm gonna do this, hopefully I can get a, a break in the rain. I'm gonna do this out in the backyard on a flat top and I'm gonna show you the vegetables we're gonna put in here. All right, we'll see you there. Hey, what's happening? Here we are, out at the flat top. And like I told you inside, we're gonna do something a little different than the normal pot pie, uh, the smoked pulled turkey pot pie. We're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna actually saute my vegetables ahead of time right here on the flat top. Um, and then we're gonna, we're gonna cook those up a little bit and we're gonna add them into the sauce. And then we're gonna add the turkey into the sauce. Then we're gonna pour the sauce and everything into uh, the pie crust. Uh, that's gonna make up our pot pie. So I already did actually I want to show you I want to show you the the veggies we have here. So we have Some corn we're gonna do some carrots some onions some celery some mushrooms and of course some potatoes and we've already or I've already uh, parboiled the potatoes So it doesn't take too long to cook them on here, and I don't want them to be on here that long because I don't want hash browns. I just want the potatoes to get a nice little crust on them so that when they go into the uh, pot pie, the smoked pulled turkey pot pie, um, it's gonna be really good and they're gonna have a little bite to them. Okay, I don't want them to be too soft. Okay, and then I'm gonna go with my, my corn. I don't know if you've ever had fried corn before, but fried corn is so good. And then I'm just gonna go with my celery and my onions. And my carrots, I'm just gonna just mix all of that together right here on the flat top. And my onions and my mushrooms. So celery, onions, mushrooms, and carrots. I'm just gonna mix them all right here on the flat top. They're gonna go together anyway, and then actually everything's gonna come together at the end. You could smell it. You know what? Someone needs to create smell o vision. If you have smell o vision, you smell these stuff starting to come together. You smell this starting to heat up, and the flavor starting to come off the flat top. We got a little cloudy day today. Sun's not going, so hopefully you can see this clearly. I'll bring you in as a, for a close-up here in a second. All right, so I'm gonna bring you just a little bit closer here. There we go. Everything sizzling, popping like it should. I'm gonna pop it like it should pop. Let's get a little bit more fry here for these potatoes. So I diced the carrots ahead of time, I cut the onions up ahead of time, um, and the potatoes uh, ahead of time. But a lot of good cooking is all about the prep. 
It's all about what a great way to do it, especially on a cloudy day when you're not going to be outside and you want something wholesome and something filling in your belly. You can make a pot pie, and I just add a little twist by putting some pulled smoked turkey in it, and it's going to be awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, we're at where we want to be. I'm actually, what I'm going to actually do is turn this fire off. I'm actually going to turn the fire off because I don't want them to get any more cooked than they are. All right. Hey, what's happening? So here we are. It's time to put this whole thing together and put it in the oven. Again, we're going to preheat the oven at 350 and we're going to put this in the oven. Hopefully, it's only going to take about 45 uh, minutes to an hour or until golden brown. All right. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my veggies. Remember the veggies that we sauteed? So we're going to take some of the veggies. We're going to pour it in. I'm not going to use all of these because my, uh, my pot pie would be humongous. So I'm going to use some of those. I'm going to definitely use all of the pulled turkey because we love a lot of turkey. Okay, and my potatoes. I'm going to put those in. Okay, we're going to just mix that up in the bowl so that everything is together. Nice, nice. Nice, nice. That's Eliana. She's got a singing voice. She's practicing. Oh, look at that piece of turkey. I'm going to have a bite of that. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Okay. That's all set. Now we're going to take our sauce that we made. Just so you guys can kind of get a taste, take a look at it. It is my sauce. Right there, and that, yeah, and that looks good. And we're just gonna pour the sauce in here over our mixture. Okay, then we're gonna just mix this back up again, sort of through it all. And it's starting to look like Pot pie, y'all. It's starting to look like pot pie. All right. We are good. Now, what's left to do is we're going to transfer some of this into our pie shell. Just going to just make sure that we cover all of it. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Look at this. I think I got to hire a camera person so you can get some close ups when I do stuff like this. Come in and do my camera work. Oh yeah, look at that. My, my, my. We have the makings of something extremely good here. So I'm gonna give you just a quick picture before I wrap it. And there it is. And I'll make a few little cuts in here. Just so we can get some heat to escape. She goes. There it is right there. Beauty, beauty. So all that's left to do is to take a taste. Oh boy. Wow, that's good. I almost don't want to take just one. That is so good. Well, thank you for coming on this journey with us. And um, try it out. Give it a shot.